In this screencast, I will illustrate how to make Halloween pumpkin clip art. Yes, it's getting close to that time of the year. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays with trick-or-treating, carnivals, Oktoberfest, soaping your best friend's car windows, and TPing your neighbor's trees. Ah, good times. I'm getting this one out a little early, I know, but I couldn't help myself. I get excited about these things. So let's begin the tutorial. What we're going to do is uh, grab our circle tool and we're going to make an ellipse about like that. Let's make this just a little bit wider. Okay, and I am going to change the stroke by right clicking on the number down here and selecting, eh, we'll select a three. And I'm going to duplicate this. We'll use that later. Okay, now what I'm going to do is double click on this to see our uh, white handles around here and holding the control key down and selecting this white circle I'm going to slide it around until I get a half shape just like that and I'm going to right click on my fill and remove it okay next thing I'm going to do is go to my file pull down document properties and make sure that I have these three items selected. We'll take our Bezier tool and I'm going to snap onto this endpoint and select that endpoint. Okay, we'll make this a dark orange stroke and I'll also change the stroke to a three to match this stroke. Now, you want to make sure that you snap these on to the endpoints of your half circle. And we have, okay, the next thing I'm going to do, select both of these shapes, go to path, and stroke to path. Then I'll go to the effects, pull down, select interpolate. I have interpolation steps two, interpolation method two, and I'm going to hit OK. Okay, that gives us something about like this. Now what I'm going to do is delete these things. Don't need those anymore. And we're going to push this back over here. And now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. I'll slide this over. And I'll duplicate this one again. Okay, so I have three copies. What I'm going to do is take this one right here and I'm going to ungroup it. And I'm going to save just these two things right here. I'll select both of them. Go to Path, Union, Path, Break Apart. Basically what that has done is filled this section in and also filled in the inside. So we're going to select that inside section and we're going to make it a light orange. We're going to go to our node tool. Uh, we'll go to path pull down, hit dynamic offset and we're going to select just that one white node and we're going to pull it in. About like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is select this one, ungroup them, get rid of our outside, we'll get rid of our inside, and we're going to do the same thing. Select both of those, do a union, do a break apart, and what we're going to do is change the color, go to our node tool, dynamic offset and we're going to pull this in about the same spacing as our one on the left here. Okay that looks pretty good. Okay now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. 
pull this over. Okay, now I'm going to take this and this over here. Go to our line. I'll center these up. And I'll push that over. And that just kind of pushed everything right on top of each other. I'll slide that back out here. Okay, now I can zoom back up again. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take this right here. I'm going to duplicate this and I'll mirror that. I'll select this part, select our circle, we'll center that, and we'll push it over to the right side. So I get kind of a globe looking thing here. And I'm going to take both of these items, ungroup them, and I want to get rid of this center line that's going down through the middle. Okay, there I have uh, exactly what I want right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this highlight, I'm going to hold my control key down and just slide it over. Matter of fact, what we need to do is go to our file, document properties, and uncheck our snaps there. We can move this around. And I'm just going to eye this, get this to where I want. Do the same with this one over here. Okay. Now, I don't need these anymore. They were just temporary. Take this and slide it back over here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this one, mirror it, push it over to the other side, duplicate that one, mirror it, push that one over. Okay, now I'm going to go to our circle tool, I'm going to draw an ellipse. We're going to turn the stroke off by removing it. Select our circle. I'll select this new ellipse that I've drawn. Actually, we'll select the ellipse, then the circle. Get this in the right order. Last selected, and we'll center that up. Holding the shift key down, I'm going to select this handle. Just kind of slide it out just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Also bring it up just a, a hair there. Okay. And these will become our highlights for the pumpkin. Okay, next thing that we're going to do, let me slide this over. I'm going to turn on our fill and stroke dialog. I'm going to select this first one here. I'm going to give it a blur effect of 10. And I'll be fixing all of these and giving them a blur effect of 10. Okay, that gives us a nice blending effect where it shows uh, uh, lighting. So now the next thing I'm going to do is select our shape right here. And I'm going to make this about a... 200 on our uh, transparency box here. I'll make the next one about 135. Do the same to the other side, 200. And the last one, 135. Okay, and that will give us some blending depth. Okay. That's pretty much the shape of our pumpkin. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and group everything together. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to draw our cutout of the mouth. So we'll grab our Bezier tool. And I'll start off on this side. 
And this can be anything you want to do. Oh, this kind of big here. Okay, and you can always true up the shape a little bit just by selecting your nodes. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now we can take that, push it down just a little bit. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll fill that in. Uh, I believe that we can go to our fill and stroke. And now I want to turn off the stroke, just give it a fill. Okay, that becomes the mouth. The next thing we're going to do is draw the, the eyes. Take our Bezier tool. Give them some evil eyes here. There we go. And you can rotate that however you want. Looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm going to do that. We're going to go ahead and uh, fill that in the same way as the mouth. So I can select that, select our color selector tool, fill that in, and I also want to remove the stroke. Okay. Make this just a little bit bigger. Okay, now I'm just going to concentrate on the left eye for now, and when we're done, we'll, uh, we'll mirror that over to the other side. Okay, so we're going to start off now with the mouth. What I'll do is duplicate the mouth twice. Okay, and I'm going to take the mouth and we'll give it a light shade here. And I'm going to push this up just a little bit. What we're going to try to do is create some depth to this cutout. Okay, that probably looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select our orange copy, our black copy. I'm going to go to path and do an intersection. Okay, now I'm going to select the black copy here, turn it back to orange. Whoops, actually, that has to be black. And it's our bottom copy that has to be orange. Okay, that simulates uh, a cutout so that you actually see like a, a 3D dimension to this. We're going to do the same thing to the eye. Duplicate. Duplicate again. I'll take that eye, make it orange, and slide it up, give it some depth. Okay, that probably looks pretty good. Okay, I'll select the orange my black, I'll go to path and do an intersection. The bottom orange, we'll make light orange. That shows us, that gives us that same cutout effect. What I'm going to do now, select both shapes there, combine them together, I'll right click, do a duplicate, and mirror it. We'll push that over to the other side. Okay, now what I'm going to do is select both of these eyes, combine them together. Okay, I'll select the eyes here. We're going to select our pumpkin and we're going to center that in the middle. We're going to do the same thing with the mouth. Like that, we'll group it together. We'll now select our pumpkin, go to the align, and we'll center that up a little bit. And that is pretty much the pumpkin. Now, you can do extra things to this. <clears throat> For example, you can draw a stem. Just kind of 
fudging this stem just a little bit. Okay, now I can take the stem and we can give it a fill. I'll make sure that I have this combined, centered up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to uncombine it. I'll zoom in on this stem. And I'm going to pull this down just a little bit to show a curve. And this here I didn't quite get right. Just kind of threw that together. There we go. Now we can turn off our stroke. Let's pull this down just a little bit more. Okay, let's get in just a little closer, there we go. Okay, I'm going to zoom out now, we don't have a lot of depth to this pumpkin stem, so what we can do is uh, give it a little bit of a gradient. We'll do edit. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's probably good enough for what we want to do. Remember, this is just clip art anyways. Okay, we'll take the stem now, shrink it down just a little bit. And we'll zoom up on this. Let's get it in the middle of our page. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go to Document Properties, select our page, and give this a dark background. Okay. And that is our Halloween pumpkin clip art. So that can be used uh, anywhere that you would want to stick that. So thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.